Welcome back. Today we're going to pluck a duck. Uh, I want to show you how we get our feathers for our flank feathers, our wings, and all that stuff. And because it's so hard to get actual flank, when you, when you buy mallard flank in a bag, almost none of it is actual flank. It's almost completely belly feathers. So if you were to get a bag like this big, which they're pretty hard to come by, when you reach in here and you're looking for feathers, especially for doing stuff that are like cougar wings and any of those, you know, any of our wings that we lay on top, most of these are belly feathers, right? And so it's hard to find feathers that are truly flank. You can see how big these feathers are. These are ones that I plucked for me, and and therefore, you know, for, they're all flank. But I want to show you where this, because I say it in all my videos, I talk about this constantly, and Jeremy finally got lucky and shot a duck that he didn't keep for himself, but he saved for me. And so this one has been froze for a week, just defrosted it, <clears throat> but it's it's pretty easy to see what we've got. So this duck is sitting here, and I, and, and I say this constantly when I'm telling people where these flanks are. The flanks are the wing pockets. So when this bird is sitting like this and it's in repose, it's just down, it's, it's kind of froze. It's not, these feathers wrap around into the wing. It's just a pocket, right? And so when you take the bird and you look at it from the belly, this is, this is what you get. These are belly, but great for, you know, wing sets for like cat scales, soft hackles. It's great for that. But this has nothing to do with those long ones that we talk about on the flank all the time. The flank feathers are right here. It's this, it's this grouping right here. And I'm gonna show you how to get that. And then if you want your bronze sets, they're on the opposite side right here. And, and I, I show you this because I tell people this all the time. I'm literally, once, twice a week, I get the call, hey, how do I get those feathers out? And so <clears throat> if you don't hunt, you know, road kills, whatever, you know somebody hunts, it's a quick and easy way to do it. First and foremost though, if you're a hunter, you know, make sure these are washed off before. If you're going to dye these, you'd have to wash them. And, and if, like in this bag, these are all sets. They're all kind of grouped together. And so they're real easy to dye and they're not all over the place. And you'll have matched sets on each side. But if you do it, you keep them. So just clean it. If, they're, if it's a little wet, wipe it off. It's just got a little on it, a little blood. If it's really bad, just put it in the sink and wash it. Take some Dawn and wash it off. And it's just fine. And then these will come out as a whole piece. And so to get the flanks, <clears throat> you're going to reach in here, and you can see they're pointy. They're, this, is a, this is a really young bird. This is, not, this is probably a, a two-year-old bird. It's not very old. And so these flanks aren't really, really big, but they're going to come out as one set. And you can see right here, so where the wing pocket is, these are this group. That's the actual flanks that are the, the pointy ones that we're looking for. They're all straight. There's no curve to them. There's very little curve like this. They're just flat. And all you do is you reach in here and you can kind of see these are the short. There's not much there. And you reach in, you get about that much right there. And you simply pull it out, right? It's, you can see it's one gob. If that bird wasn't froze, most of that's froze on there. It took a little hide. If it wasn't froze, it would just pop out just that fast. And it would just, it'd be super simple. But you can see, now I have a match. Have, well, I won't when I pull the other side. I've got all these perfectly straight flank feathers, right? That's probably 30 to a side. So you take that one, turn it over, backside right here, come into the wing pocket, same thing. Now you've got a, you've got 60, you know, feathers that are all exactly the same. They're matched, they're beautiful. If you were gonna do this by buying it in a bag, you probably have to buy 40 bags of uh, mallard because you don't, you just don't get these straight flanks. When you get them, they're all over here. So there's two perfect sets. And that's why I said, keep them together, clean them before you clean these things out before you, if they're, if they're dirty, clean them out before. Cause if you want to dye them, it makes it super simple. You put them in, they're done and they come out just like this. Now on these bronze sets, they're on the other side right here, right on the top, the shoulder coverts right there. And you can see, there's, it's the same thing. You just come in, try to get them, and pull them up. So now I've got a complete set, one side here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Get over here, one side there. That is a, those are all, that's a, that's a whole set. When you see these in the bags, I don't know if I have any around here, there's usually like four or five of them. And they're matched, right? So that's one. But that's the whole thing. 
And now you can come in to the rest of the duck if you want to harvest everything. How we're going to sell, you'll see a lot of times we sell wings, whole wings, right? And there's a, I like these secondaries. These are, these are, you know, they're really cool looking, but if you're going to, if you're going to do it for wings, for just like mayfly wings, just harvest this end. And we're going to do that next year uh, ourselves. So we don't have the whole, because this is what starts stinking. This is where you get your bugs. If you don't clean that out, get all this meat out of here and clean it and borax it and salt it and get it all nice and dry, you'll get dermestid beetles in your stuff. So this way, you just cut this off. I have a pair of scissors here. And so now there's very little meat in this. And you can, you'll get all these wings. You'll have a match set. If you want these, for these, you can pull these two the same way. I generally match them. I don't really use the other ones for much. And you set and go each side and just set them out. But that's how you use the whole duck, and that's how you get, this is the big thing is that I wanted to talk about, is getting these match sets. You can show somebody how to do it. If you see a roadkill, you can pop them out in seconds. Like I said, if they're fresh, they'll just pop. You won't have to pull like I did. And you'll get these match sets. You'll have 60, maybe, man, sometimes you get 40 to a side. This is, this is a young duck, so these are pretty young. They're pretty small. But then you got your bronze, and you got your... Wing sets right there, and the overall time maybe takes you 30 seconds to do all of them. So, just a little something because we get the call so much. Hope you liked it. Hope it helps you out.